Oh! All it takes is one tiny spark. Yeah, one tiny boom. bullet. Boom. Hey, everybody. Zippy Fruit here. And today, we're playing Call of Juarez. Level 5. So I haven't recorded for a little bit. And... This time, I'm going to record a lot more uh, for this sitting. I've been recording in batches. Like, I sit down, record, play a couple levels, and I edit them, and I play a couple more. So the first level I did the first time was one recording. Then I did level two, three, and four in one sitting. And I'm going to do as many as I can right now. I actually want to get through the game uh, quickly. So we're going to do that. So here we go. Story mode. Let's continue. I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Episode 3. Now wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. Yeah, so this guy. Um he likes to throw um dynamite at you. The magnificent one. This is a mine level. This level kind of reminds me of the the Mask of Zorro, where they're trying to find gold and there's they're digging for it. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant, and hunting Plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. Hmm. <laughs> you can shoot birds down. Get some points. Oh, this one's a little tough to get, huh? Come on, bird. I want to catch you. <laughs> he just, like, stopped in midair. All right, here we go. I missed him. Obviously. I want to get this bird. Got him. Boom. Interesting. Look at all this cactus. You don't get hurt from it, do you? No. As my late father pointed out to me more than once, God made men. Samuel Colt made him equal. Is that the same gun? Pretty much. I've never went down here before. So sparkly, does that mean I could take something? I could take a shotgun.
Okay. I never came down here before. Was it two exits? Two places to go to. Interesting. And what's the other one go to? Oh, here we go. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. Well, it's lit. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. You can shoot down... You can shoot dynamite in the air. Press RT to shoot. Okay. Nice. There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers and hijacking gold shipments. Like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Explosives. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's son. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Bummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to break. Well, you can blow yourself through it. Oh, really? I can't go through it? Wait, can I just break it? Oops. Let's use a shotgun. Dangerous, desperate individual. I was outnumbered and in way over my head. But I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. I thought I was some kind of hero. Man, lots of explosives. Just going through, exploding everything, just finding all these things. It's kind of fun. Oh, okay. So we need to get to find uh, this plumber guy. He's in the mine somewhere. In there. Or down there, actually. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first... I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. All right, this... It was the quickest way in, 
but that also made it more dangerous, as there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. So, this spot is actually played in the arcade mode, and this is one of the most fun levels to play in the arcade mode. Yes. I think this is the long range um, gun. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. Two spots. Oh. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. You can go this way. Cut him down. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Or you can go this way. This I like this way because it'll take you through the top. Single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. I'm here. Oh, you can't fire this gun rapidly. Interesting. All right, that hurt. Reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. That's it for you. Oh. With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what he's shooting at. Careful. Oh god. Oh! All it takes is one tiny spot. Yeah! One tiny boom. bullet. Boom! Really? I thought I shot him in the head. Let's try this again. I will drop you. As a boy, I always loved the 4th of July. He must have shot behind me. Take that asshole out! Alright. Let's just... Cut you. Oh no! It's gonna go! Boom! Okay. He's down. Haha. <laughs> there we go. And I think there's... Was it guns here? I don't want this gun. Let's stick with this. Let's stick with what I got. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted too. Uh oh. Run! I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just moronic, but clearly insane. Got them all. Uh oh. Water. I'm free. Oh. It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Yeah. Instead, I spotted a ladder. A way into the mine from the opposite side. That's what's supposed to happen. That's kind of interesting. So you're supposed to die on purpose. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. 
Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. All right, let's make this jump. I needed to make a leap of faith. I was determined not to give up, however. That Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the Sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. Wait a minute, what was that? It's a different gun. Oh, well, you know, I'll stick with this gun. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. Okay. So if we take the elevator, there's guys right there that are going to shoot at me. So I'm going to go on the ladder because you can go behind them. I do remember this. Doesn't really matter which way you do it. There's only two guys. I wanted to use the element of surprise. Plus, I figured I could use the exercise. I was warmed up already, so what the hell? Plummer was a mad dog killer. Oh god, that's a dynamite. Of Nevada City deserved better. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. I didn't even use the dynamite. Lawman, outlaw. Scalawag. Henry Plummer. They're gonna bury well, you in a million pieces! It's just getting worse and worse for you. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. Oh, that's good. Some good damage. These ranged guns are pretty good. Hold on. What should we get? I know I have an extra capability here. Let's do that one. How you like that? You can shoot, but can you aim? I surely can aim. So I'm hitting you a lot. Whoa. Really? Whoa. 
Where is he? Keep yourself reloaded. Okay, here we go. Coming back out again. Oh man, he got me. Uh. Might be some bad guys here. Here we go. Just keep going back and forth between these spots. You can shoot, but can you aim? Surely I can. Here, can you want this? You can throw dynamite. Oh. Nice. You killed an innocent man. Who? And you didn't? Oh no, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh my god. Come on, he just needs a little bit more damage. Yes, got him. Oh, well, that's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter. Now you're a bounty hunter. Finally, nice. That was good. And I didn't die. Usually I die on him a lot. Anyway. That's the end of this level. Um, so like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, leave a comment below. And as always, thank you for watching.